Hello everyone. In my previous video, I spoke about how can we run autogen and what all use cases we can cover using that. So if you missed that one, then I can quickly point you to my video. And it is this video which talks about how you can create your custom AI agents. So I would recommend you to go through it and understand how to set up this autogen, how to install the packages and all those. And apart from that, if you want to look into the documentation so this is the getting started guide where you can quickly go through it and understand what is autogen what are its different use cases and how the communication handle uh, handle between various assistants like user proxy as well as assistant and in this video like uh, we talked lot many things but the one thing which was of really concern is the cost factor because it was giving pretty good output it was able to manage the multi-round communication between both the user and the assistant but the thing is we were ending up with very high cost and that is the reason I am here with this particular video so, and this thing we are going to achieve using LM studio so if you're not sure how to get started with that I can quickly point you you can go to the browser of your choice and start searching for LM studio and the very first thing which comes here is lmstudio.ai and this is a studio where you can use LLMs locally you can download it whether you are on Mac Windows or on Linux so in my case I have already downloaded this for Windows so I need not to download it but feel free to go ahead and download it it's not going to take much time and once it is downloaded it will look something like this let me shrink my screen a bit so you have the home button on the left hand side just click on that and this is the bar where you can search for any model like I search for Mistral and press enter you can see that these are the various models I have and these are left right hand side as the quantization so whatever you want you can go ahead and uh, just let's say you want to go for this one then click here and click on the download and it will go ahead and download the required model for you now if you're not sure which model to choose or uh, what are the models which are available so then you can directly go on to hugging face models URL and let me show you that one as well and here you can see a huge list of models so whatever you feels like you can just choose and then go ahead and like if you will go for this one Zephyr or Xena embeddings or whatever you want you can just go ahead and search it over here uh, where is that yeah search it on this UI LM Studio UI and you will get that model listed over here so I'm not going to download it again I have already downloaded the one so that's why you can see the downloaded button over here and this is the one which I have downloaded so it's like around 4.11 GB and it didn't take much time I would say it's around six to seven minutes but yeah it completely depends on your speed and once this model is downloaded what you can do is you can go here and let this uh, start a new chat so that we can understand how things are working so this is the model which I have downloaded and I have already selected from here so if you have downloaded multiple models then it will list down all those for you in my case it is just one Mistral Instruct version 0 and it is 7 billion parameter with quantization Q40 okay so let's start talking with it putting the model okay so we are ready to chat hello and it will come up with the response based on the model which we have selected above I would say could you write uh, an essay on let's say doc let's go with the simplest one and soon you will see that it started uh, writing few lines for us dogs are beloved pets around the world and for good reason so it will keep writing so if you want I can wait and it will generate the entire essay for us but definitely I can go ahead and stop it because you do not want to go ahead and read this entire thing 
Next, I would just say I am not doing great today. So let's see what it has for this question. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there any fix, anything specific that's been bothering you or would you like to talk about? Sometimes, sometimes just talking about your feelings and help you feel better. It's so sweet of it. But let's so you understand how it is communicating with us and how it is answering the questions. So rather than chatting here in the playground, I would go back to my code which I have written in previous video and will just try to use this particular model rather than using the OpenAI. So before going there, let's go ahead and click on this third icon, which is for local server. And this is the port number because it is going to generate a local host URL for us. This is the port number. These are the few settings. You can tweak it based on your need and do read this particular line. So this server can be used as a drop in replacement for OpenAI API. It means you can use this model. You can use this local host link and go ahead and use this. But you need not to provide or supply any open AI key, which means nothing is going, uh, going to cost us. So let me go ahead and start the server because this is what uh, will give us the localhost URL. And here you can see this is the URL for get a call. This is for post completion endpoint. So these are the second one is for chat and another one is for just completion endpoint. So the only thing which we need to do is we need to go to our VS code and just plug in this particular uh, configuration setting over there. So I am on my VS code and let me quickly get into my virtual environment over here. So it is auto join env then under scripts I need to activate my environment. So we are inside that and these are the few lines of code which we have written earlier wherein we are importing the configuration because it was taking my API key from there. Then we are importing assistant agent as well as user proxy agent. So this was the setting which we were using earlier and the model was GPT-35 Turbo with 16K parameter and the version was 06, uh, I mean the release date was 0613. This is my API key and here uh, we are defining our assistant. So I'm not going to spend so much time explaining this again but if you have any doubts please feel free to go back and check out my previous video. So now instead of this particular thing, we need to define the new configuration which will support the model which we have just downloaded. So let me comment this out. So toggle block comment and here I would say, here I need to define the new configuration. And the first one here uh, we need to say is API type which is open AI for us and this next thing is what is the base URL so I will tell you in a second what is it let's keep it empty for now and then you need to define API key so of course like we are saying we are not going to use anything so it would be null and I'm not setting any parameter here. Now coming on to the API base, it is the same URL which was generated by our local host. So I will just pull this one until v1 and paste it over here. So I believe we are good to go. Okay. Let me run this here. Sample autogen copy. So if I will run this, it is saying some problem key error choices. Let me quickly figure it out. So there should not be this thing over here. Now let me run it quickly. Uh, let me try with another example. Well, it looks like it's a, some network issue. 
I will get to know if we are getting the similar kind of error or some timeout issues. So let's give it a few seconds. Usually it should not take that long to execute, um, but looks like there is something wrong with my localhost settings. So you can see that we end up with the timeout issue. So mostly it's a, a local issue or issues with only my machine. But the idea here is when you are using the same code, you just need to update this configuration section with your URL, which is the localhost URL. API key should, should be null and the API type should be open AI. So once this is done, you should be able to get a response. And apart from rather than spending more time struggling with it, I would uh, stop this video over here. And before that, I want to show you one thing. So here on the left hand side, you can see the RAM usage and the CPU. So these two are the parameters which you can uh, have a look when you are running that which model is good for you or which model you are using. So this time I'm selecting some other model. So you can see that the GPU and the CPU, GPU uh, I mean, the RAM usage is just 4.12. So it completely depends on what model you are using. So I hope you got an idea about what we are trying to achieve and how can we save cost without using API key. So that's what I have for today. And do let me know in comments if you are facing the similar kind of issue and we'll figure it out in next video. Thanks for watching.